Hello everyone, welcome to PST e-commerce project tutorial for beginner. In the previous tutorial, we let the admin add product from the admin panel. So in this tutorial, we are going to show those product from the database table to our admin panel. So when the admin click on this view products option, it will show us all the product data from the database. So let's go back to our code and we'll go to our admin and inside admin here you can see admin page.php and we'll just go down till you will see this view products anchor tag here so inside this href i'm going to say display underscore product dot php and here those sidebar is also inside add product dot php as well so let me just say here display so let me just copy this make sure to save this and then go to add product dot php and just paste here again in the href just say display product dot php so what will happen is that when someone click on view product from add product dot php or from the admin page if someone click on view product it will take us to this page which is display underscore product dot php but we do not have this page so i'm going to create this page inside the admin folder so i'll just right click and then click on new file and our file name will be display underscore product.php so save it so here let me just say simple html and in the body let's say here all products right now whenever someone click on this view products it will go to this page so let's go to our browser let me refresh and let's click on view products and there you can see it says all products there you can see it so right now uh, we want this design to that uh, to this page okay so for it what i am going to do is really simple i will go to my admin page.php and i am going to copy everything from here so control a control c then i will paste it in this display product.php so control v so right now here you can see we have a text inside this div class info i'm just going to remove this text from here and i'll say here h on let's say all products if we now save this then refresh here there you can see we have a text here called all products so here we're going to have a table and in this table we're going to show all the product from the products table for it, what we need to do is, first of all, we're going to create a table here first. So, I'm going to say here table. Then in this table, we're going to have first table row. And in the first table row, we'll have the table header. So, let me just copy this table header. And I'm going to paste it for time. So, in the first one, let's say here title, product title. This one will be product description then we'll have the product quantity after that we'll have the product price and the last one will be the product image after that we're going to mention another tier and this tier would be for the product data so we have five headers so we need to have five td table data so let me just copy this and i'm going to paste it for time so let's just say here random data let's say here a b c d if we now save this, then refresh here, there you can see we have the table here. And we want to show this table in the center and also there should be a little bit of design as well. So first of all, let's just make it look like a table. Let's just add a border first. So for it, let's go back. And here you can see we have the table tag. So what I'm going to do is that I'll just copy this table tag and let's go to our admin underscore style dot CSS. Let's just put down. And let's mention the table tag. We're going to say here border, it will be 4px solid black. Let's say here 2px push of 4. Let's save this. And if we now refresh here, there you can see there's a border right now. So let's have a background color for the table header. So for it, let's go back. And here you can see we have the T tag here. So what we are going to do is we're going to mention that T tag. Then to second bracket, we'll say here background color will be sky blue. Then let's say here padding will be del px. Then also text align, it will be center. 
and font weight it will be bold it's a font weight it will be bold if we now save then refresh here it will look like this so let's just go back and here in the table tag i'm going to say margin left let's say 30 percent save it refresh okay there you go so right now we are going to show the data from the database this is just a static data so first of all what we need to do is that we need to get the data from the product table in this display underscore product.php so first we need to connect our display underscore product.php to the database or it i'm just going to declare a variable uh, in this psc opening and psp closing so here let's declare a variable let's say dollar com equal to my sql i underscore connect first we'll say local post after that we need to say here root then a null data after that we need to measure database name which is php underscore ecom so once you write this it means we are connected to the database so here this all is our database level uh, here you can see that this is our database level so right now we are going to write a sql query so here i am going to set dollar sql equal to we will give to double quotation we are going to say here select star form then we need to measure table name and our table name is products so select star form products it means get all the data from the products table and make sure that the spelling this on should match with your database so once you write this it means the data from the product table will be stored in this dollar scale variable so right now we are going to declare another variable let's say dollar result equal to my sql i underscore query to first bracket first of all we need to mention this connection dollar pawn then we need to mention the dollar sql here let's say here dollar sql so right now what will happen is that we'll make a connection uh, with the product table and the database and then we'll store those data in this dollar result variable so right now using the dollar result we'll be able to show all the data from the product table to this table inside this table so first of all in order to show the product we need to use when loop so and when loop is a php code so we need to give a php opening here then we need to give php closing like this so here inside this i'm going to say file to first bracket then we're going to declare a variable let's, let's say dollar row you can declare any variable then we need to say here my sql i underscore fetch underscore so then to first bracket and inside this we need to mention this dollar result so we are going to mention the dollar result inside this two first bracket then we need to give to second bracket so here uh, this second bracket the last one we int after that tier tag so what i am going to do is that we are going to in this php tag over here and then i am going to start another php opening here we are doing this because we are not allowed to write html code inside a php tag that's why we are doing this so i will just cut this from here then i will paste after the tier tag and here you can see those are actually html code and we cannot write html code inside php tag if we write it it will give us a error like this there you can see it is showing us in a different way so we need to write it outside the php tag so that's why we are writing it like this let me just make it so that uh, you can understand clearly or see it clearly so here it gets the PHP code started here and after the foil loop and the second bracket we ended the PHP and here again the PHP started here and after the second bracket for the foil loop the PHP tag ended here so I hope you are clear you are not confused so right now here instead of those DAO data we are going to get the data from the table so here for it we need to give the PHP opening and PHP closing here so in the first TB again I'll give another PHP opening then the PHP closing 
we are doing this because we are going to write some PHP code here. So inside this PHP opening and closing, we'll say here echo, then we'll say dollar row, which is basically this one. So using that dollar row, we'll be able to get the data on by on from the database. So we said dollar row, then, then we need to give to third bracket like this and to single quotation. So first of all, we want to get the title. And in that database uh, here, you can see we write title here like this, description like this, price, quantity, and image like this. So we need to write it exactly we write in the database. So I'm going to say here title. So after title, we have the description, quantity, price, and image. So let me just copy this and I'm going to paste it for this on, this on, and this all. So this last study will be for the image and image is a little bit of different. So after title, we need to say here description. Let me just show you here. We write description like this and you need to write it exactly you write in the table. Here you can see description, price, quantity. So I'm going to say here description, then this one will be quantity and then this one will be price. So right now, let me just show you, we'll show the image later. If I just save this, then refresh here. There you can see you are able to get the product title, description, quantity, and price. So right now we're going to show the image. So in order to show the image, inside this TD tag, we need to mention the image tag. And in the source, we need to mention the folder where we uploaded our image. And we uploaded our image in this product underscore image folder. There you can see, and this product underscore image folder is outside that admin folder. So our display product is inside the admin folder, and this folder is outside the admin folder. So we need to give to dot, then a slash, then we need to mention our folder name, which is product underscore image. Then we need to give a slash here. And right now we're going to write the PHP port. So I can just copy this from here and paste it here. So make sure to give a slash here. So here you can see the double quotation started here and it ended here. So here instead of title, we need to say here image because in the database, Devin, there you can see image. That's why we are writing here image. So let's just mention the image height and width. So let's say here height, it will be 8 dbx and width, it will be 80 okay let's just say here 80 and 80 and i think i made a mistake somewhere okay here you can see i give a arrow here uh, this on be here okay now that this looks perfect just make sure that you do not make any mistake okay let me just write it like this so that you can see it clearly so if we save it then refresh now there you can see we are able to see the images here and let's just add some padding for the td tag as well. So uh, let's go to our admin style.css and here I'm going to say td. Let's say here padding 10px and margin 10px. Let's also set here text align. It will be center. And let's do one more thing that is for the table. Let's say here width. It will be 70%. There, refresh, okay, there you go. So it's top 30 margin left, let's say here 10%. And for the image, uh, let's say here 100 height and 100 width. Refresh, and there you go. So it's too close, we can add a little bit of margin here for the table tag. So here I can say margin top let's say 30 pixel save it and there you go so we are able to show the data from the product even to our admin base and if we go to our add product add another product let's say a test test price 100 or thousand quantity 10 let's choose a random image from here let's choose this on click on open and click on add product a product is added if we go to our view products 
there you can see there is one more product here so i hope this was useful for you in the next tutorial we are going to show how to delete data from the database so make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials